If no one else has any other questions, I just have one more to kind of wrap up the discussion a little bit. Um, I was wondering if you think the book would have been different if Roden was writing it right now. Um, instead of you know writing it in the early 2000s and publishing it in 2006, um, if he was writing it now, if you you think he would have taken a different tack on anything, it probably would have been about 100 pages on LeBron James and the decision. Uh, but other than that, do you think there would have been any kind of substantive differences? I think he might have been a bit more strident. And here, it's funny you mentioned LeBron James. Here's the champion that would have come out of it. This is something about the LeBron James story that nobody really talks about. Now, I talked to Kirk Flood's wife at this conference I was at a couple of years ago. Um, now, keep in mind, I think she's a little bit flighty. She told us something about how she had just talked to Kirk, and if you don't know, Kirk's dead. But she absolutely put LeBron James and Kirk Flood side by side. She absolutely saw LeBron James as a continuation of Kirk Flood's legacy. Now, Kirk Flood has become a lionized figure over time for what he sacrificed, you know, in the name of free agency. Now, important to note that that wasn't Kirk Flood's cause. He was losing a grip on his life and needed something to do and had nothing to lose, so he said he'd go take Major League Baseball to court. But his wife saw LeBron as a same lineage. You never saw any such thing written. You never saw anybody try to give her a call or anything like that. Like, the whole position of LeBron James is intended to be on the other side. Flood is a guy that Roden looks at as someone who bucked against this notion of being the slave, even though I still contend that Kurt Flood was nobody's social revolutionary. He just wound up in the middle of a social revolution. Any other last questions? All right, well, thank you very much for doing this with, doing this with us, Melania. It's been great. Hey, no. John, thank thank you in particular. I uh, I was somebody asked me today to tell me about tell me about myself. I was like I'm a erstwhile academic that kind of talks about sports, so it has been so refreshing to have a conversation on these sorts of issues. With this, I mean, like I, I am legitimately thankful that you invited me, and I appreciate that you thought enough of me to have. Great, thank you, and hopefully we can do it again at some point. Hey man, just let me know I'm around. <laughs>